This is from Fox News. Women's March event canceled over concerns of being overwhelmingly white. So, <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna put this in my own words. Uh, okay. The the Wonder Woman walk was was gonna end in mashed potatoes. Oh, that's. I'm gonna have to. I'll work with that. That's a good idea. I'll work with that. Honestly, though, here's the thing. Um, if you look at the demographic breakdown of the United States, white people are still the majority. I don't know if you knew this. So if you took women and you you basically set them up in a group and you had them represented according to the percentage of the population, most of the women in this group would be white because America is still a white majority country. It's not going to be for like much longer, but for right now it still is a white majority country. So the fact that they're like trying to, uh, I don't know, they're canceling events because uh, there's too many white women there. It's like, what do you expect? It's like if you if you have a a protest in China, most of the people there are going to be Chinese. I don't know if you knew this. There aren't a lot of black people in China. I've known people in the in the military who've gone like you know to China or some Asian country as as like a tourist, and random Asian people will stop them and want to take their picture with them because they've literally never seen a black person before. That's how rare black people are in Asia. But no one cares. No one's like fucking Asia is too too asian we need, we need more diversity but uh yeah in america where you have a white majority apparently having a white majority representation in your protest that's bad so we need to cancel that because there's too many too many honkies at the uh at the rally yeah i honestly think that there are a good number of people who are brainwashed by the media by entertainment who think there are way more of the representation than right. there actually is. Well, the according to the article, um, the county where the art, where this protest was going to be held is 74% non-Hispanic white. And the reason why non-Hispanic is listed is because uh, prior to the mid-90s, I think, Hispanics were lumped in with white people. So it's actually kind of like if you're looking at older statistics, it's actually kind of difficult to parse out what's what because Hispanics were considered white until like the 90s. When they actually started being categorized as their own group. Which is also why when you fill out a census form, they ask you your race. Hispanic isn't an option. So you pick white, and then there's like Hispanic, non-Hispanic as like a sub-option. So there you go. It's kind of like how it, it's it's all fucking dumb. Every, like basically, what's funny is I notice this because, and maybe you don't notice this as much because you, you may live in a different area. But where I live, uh, everyone is trying to disavow being white, who's white. Like, if you have, like, you know how people who have one drop of black blood are considered black, regardless of if they're fucking whiter than Mariah Carey, they, they still want to be black. Uh, like, what's her face? Uh, Halsey. Halsey's like, she, you know, what pisses me off about people who are mixed is they, they have to be, like, super woke, because they have to make up for the fact that they look white by being super woke, and it's really fucking annoying. But, yeah, anyway, so you got those people. But then you got people who are clearly white, but they're trying to say that they're not white because there's something like, I'm not, I'm not white, I'm, I'm like a quarter Mexican, or I'm not white, I'm Jewish. Like, bitch, you're white. You are fucking white. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, all over social media, it's just like self-deprecating on a, on well, a racial level all across society. Well, right, because someone – here's the thing. We've, this is what happens when you create a society built on equality, uh, not equality of liberty or equality, you know, like justice for all, but equality of outcome. Because the way the left operates is when – if everyone's the same, which is the fundamental tenet of leftism, is everybody's the same, how do you account for unequal outcomes? If everyone's the same, we should achieve more or less the same outcomes. If we don't achieve the same outcomes, it must be. No other evidence needed. Someone must have cheated. Someone must be a bigot. Someone must be stealing from someone else. So th that's where all this comes from. And basically the way they operate is look at who has more money than you. They're the ones oppressing you. So white people have – they're the majority of the population. As a group, they have the most money by default. Like you could argue Asians or Jews have more money per capita, but – like the Asian population, United States is like five percent. I don't even know what the Jewish population is. It's probably closer to five percent, something like that. So yeah, maybe per capita, but uh, as a as a group, white people have all the money because they're the majority of the population. Therefore, 
No other evidence needed. White people are oppressing everyone else because they have money. It, this is how this yeah. works everywhere. It, there's no evidence. Like, it doesn't make any sense other than you have to understand that these are emotional retards who simply want to blame whoever has more money than them for their problems because they think that g- taking their money is going to solve their problems. Communism. That's the, be- that's the beginning, middle, and end of their thought process. Is I have problems. You have more money than me. You're, it's your fault. Give me your money. If that sounds you like... Shit. If that sounds like something a child would say, you're right. <laughs> like I, I googled it. There. Oh, hold on. Uncle Rook is here. I'm pleased that a feminist protest was shut down. But damn, why so they have to discriminate against the white woman? I gotta blame the darkies somehow. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what to say to that, Uncle Ruckus. Uncle Ruckus Celestina. But, uh, yeah, it's... What's weird is how fixated like race is. Like they're trying to conflate race and sexism, but it's not. It doesn't seem to be working. So they always want. This is why, like, when they attack incels and MGTOW, they always try to associate with like the alt right. Because if they can try to lump MGTOW and incels or whatever group they're trying to demonize with the alt right, then they can slap a big racist label on them. Never mind the fact that, like, you know, MGTOW and stuff like that are super diverse and have people from all different races and religions and countries. Uh, they got to make them alt-right somehow so that they can slap a Nazi label on them and call them racist. Because then they can shut them down. But obviously, look, you see this little LGBT inverted triangle at the bottom? That's because I'm a masculine presenting transgendered lesbian. We got all people from all different races and religions and what, what have you here. Go fuck yourself with your racist accusations. And I don't even care. It's not like like if ra- if the if the claims of racists were true, I would agree with them. Like I agree with the racial the general racial IQ differences between the races. That's like the big alt right talking point about how different races have different average IQs. I agree. That's completely verified science. I just simply contend that this is a product of welfare dependence. You look at the outcomes. You look at the Chavs in the UK. They have the same problems as the black ghettos in in America. It's not a race thing. It's like a welfare dependence and single mother thing. So you can have a, a relatively, you can have a lower IQ and still have a fucked up culture and a fucked up society. IQ is not the end all be all. It's not what determines whether your society is good or not. You have to get rid of welfare dependence and single mothers. That's the almost universal commonality. As a society goes to shit, what do you see? You see welfare dependence and single mothers. 